Great War Chinese Book Two Unit Two. Hello, everyone. This is TechMandarin.com. I'm Abby. I'm Richard. Today, our new word is boarding house. 公寓公寓 Firstly, Abby, if a foreigner wants to be legal to live in China, he or she must have a residence permit, right? Yeah, that's essentially important. If a foreigner stays in China for over 30 days, he or she shall go to the Exit Entry Administration Bureau of Local Public Security Bureau and finish the application of the temporary residence permit. Except for the application form, some other materials are needed for this application. Okay, then how to find a boarding house in Shanghai? You can go to a formal housing agency. In Chinese, we say 房屋中介 or just turn to the websites related. For example, CitySpace.ShanghaiExpat.com. Choose the city, district, property type, and other information about your ideal boarding house, and press search. Then the qualified boarding house will be listed on the screen. If I want to find a housemate, where can I publish the advertisement? Now we would like to recommend you another website, the category of housing at CityWeekend.com. There is a particular column in this category for those who are finding housemates. How about the housing rent in Shanghai? It depends to the district size, the facilities, and other factors. Otherwise, you know, prices and rents of houses are always fluctuating according to the market. Where to pay the utility charges? At the post office and in some convenience stores. In fact, call costs and utility charges may be deducted directly from your accountant if you own an accountant in a Chinese bank and apply for this service. Aha!、Uh-huh. It is convenient. At last, we hope all of our audience will find an appropriate boarding house and have a nice experience in China. When you have trouble in Shanghai, you can dial the number shown on the screen. Now let's review this new word. 公寓 I'm Abby. I'm Richard. Thanks for watching. See you next time.